Hi, I'm Kristen Adair. This is video number three. This is my journey to surgical correction of my pectus excavatum. So in this video, I wanted to just talk about my first step. So once my symptoms started worsening and just becoming unbearable, I started doing some research online. My dad helped me find a video, and um, it was on a surgical correction called the Nest Procedure. This is minimally invasive. Uh, they go in through your sides with two small incisions, and they put metal bars across your chest kind of like braces. So they'll put them in either one to three depending on how many you need and then um, pretty much pop your chest out and leave them in for a few years just like braces and then they'll take them out. Um, so this is something we wanted to pursue. We found a video on YouTube. It's from the Mayo Clinic and it was on a doctor, Dr. Don Jarzuski, and I don't know if I'm saying that right. Everyone just calls her Dr. J so I'll be calling her Dr. J. It's much easier. Um, so if you watch the video, it basically explains her and the procedure, and it was very um, enticing. So um, in doing more research online, there really isn't anybody else in Arizona that does this procedure on adults. It's mainly um, done in children, so it's hard to find somebody that does this on adults. Well, I also found a contact uh, at Dr. J's office. Her name is Kelly Myers. And I have her business card, so if anybody wants her information, I'm willing to give that to you. Um, she is the Pectus Program Coordinator for Dr. J over at the Mayo Clinic in Phoenix. Um, so she's the first step I made. I made an, a contact through email to Kelly. She called me back and basically explained how the process works, what tests I needed to get done first, and what to do from there. So my first step was I made an appointment with my primary care doctor and at that appointment I explained what was going on with my symptoms and they did a full um, complete blood count, they did all kinds of blood work just to make sure everything was within normal limits which that all came back normal so they knew you know, it wasn't anything going on with, with anything like that. I don't know. Um, so my blood came back normal. They also did right in the office just an EKG. It's a five minute little thing, painless. Um, and that, when it comes back, kind of just looks like, can you see? Yeah, just something like this. So that was my EKG and basically um, that's looking at your heart rhythm. And mine was borderline, it says extensive ST slash T changes, borderline abnormal. Um, so that was my EKG and uh, apparently it's normal but what that is saying is that there is some kind of activity going on in my chest wall that could be affecting my heart um, but an overall state is normal. So my EKG came back normal which is good. They want your EKG to be normal for pectus excavatum. So that was a good thing and that was my first step. Um, and then I also while I was there got a order for a CT scan. So um, she got that ordered and then I just was to wait for the imaging facility to call me back so we could schedule a CT scan and that was going to be the most important test. So that was really my first step with my primary care doctor and um, I will update you on my next video of what happened after that with a CT scan. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon.